I see the comments and requests and I will act on them. Please remember to follow Geography World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Please remember to like, share with your friends and subscribe. For person wishing to contact me privately, you may email me at geographyworld100 at gmail.com. The link will be posted below. Welcome back to Geography World channel. For this video, we'll be looking at resources. Now, what is a resource, right? Now, a resource is any physical material that constitutes part of the earth that people need and value. So, it is what we as human need and what we value, what we deem as important. So, it's the, any physical material constituting part of the earth that people need and value. Now, resources are classified into two major types. We have renewable and non-renewable resources. Now, when we talk about renewable resources, we're talking about resources that are, they're basically infinite resources that have the potential to be replaced over time by natural processes, and they can be used again and again if they're properly managed, right? Now, the renewal process of the renewable resources may be relatively quick or it can be very slow depending on the type of resource it is now the examples of renewable resources include we have water is a renewable resource it can be renewed we have soil fertility we have trees that are renewable resources We have fishes that are renewable resources. We have sunlight and we have wind. So these six examples are all renewable resources, meaning that they can be replenished and used again. While the non-renewable resources, these are resources that there is a fixed amount, there is a limit. So once you use up all of the, the allotted amount of resource, then it will not be replenished or it cannot be replaced. Now, a few examples of non renewable energy or resources, sorry, includes bauxite. So, once you use up the bauxite, it cannot be replaced. We have gold. Once you use up all the gold, it cannot be replaced. We have nuclear energy and we also have oil, natural gas, and coal. All of these, once the amount that is allotted is used up, then there is no more. They cannot be replaced or they cannot be replenished. So the difference is renewable resources, there is an infinite amount. Once it's used, it can be replaced or replenished, while non-renewable resources, it cannot be replaced or replenished. There is a limit to it. Now for the exam, a lot of students tend to get these questions mixed up try your best to know the difference between the new renewable and the non-renewable and then you learn the examples that go with them we are at the end of this video thank you for watching and please remember to like share subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on in the comment section below comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video until then bye